Welcome back, I'm Katie and today I'm going to do a video that is inspired by Rooney Mara, uh, the star of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. This look that I saw her wearing was, I think, from some sort of premiere, um, I guess, for the film. Um, I've not quite discovered where the photo was taken yet, but I'll do a blog on it, so make your way over to our blog, uh, the link will be below, and you can see the reference for this look. Um, this is going to be the first of a series of looks inspired by celebrities um, and looks that I sort of have noticed and thought wow over the past 12 months basically. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is the lips. It's a very very strong lip look, um, glossy skin, bit of a gloss on the eye, um, mascara and that's it. It's really simple. It's very um, fashion forward so if you're a little bit, if you're very much an eyeshadow wearer this isn't for you. If you're a lipstick wearer then this is definitely for you. Um, so the colour that she's wearing on her lips is kind of like that there. Um, we don't have a colour that's that dark in our range yet so what I've done is quite craftily mixed a bit of our gel eyeliner which is that brown with a bit of our raspberry which actually looks like this so this is raspberry and then that's the brown I've mixed the two together to come up with a bit more of a sort of a bloody tone so the first thing I'm going to use is Giselle which is our brown eyeliner pencil uh, but because these lips are so dark it's kind of going to help me uh, achieve the um, effect there's no rules with makeup whatsoever, that's what I love so much about makeup and I actually really get a buzz out of making um, pr products that aren't used for that specific area work for a, d a different area, I find it really uh, fulfilling. Anyway, so here we go. So I'm literally just using this to get the shape of my lips. I'm not going to fill in like I normally would. Okay. Then I'm going to take the colour that I've pre-mixed on the back of my hand, which is a mixture of our brown gel liner and raspberry. And that brown gel liner should only help the lipstick stay in place a bit longer. Okay. So I'm just going to go back in with raspberry with my ring finger and I'm just going to create a bit more brightness to it. I mean another way around of doing this is using just a brown pencil and going straight over the top with sort of a, a darker red like this. So I'm applying ready to wear foundation in number one and uh, I'm just applying it anywhere where there's a bit of redness. It's normally around the nose and the T-zone. So I'm just using a bit of our concealer over a few blemishes. Been in Paris, so therefore eating lots of chocolate, and uh, my skin is suffering because of it now. So, as far as the skin goes, I'm pretty much done. Um, I just need to set the centre of my face a little bit um, and add a little bit of a highlight under the brow. So, to do my highlight, I'm going to use this, which is Sweet Kiss, with a little smudgy brush like that. I'm just going to go really gently under there. I don't want to mess up any of the sort of brow work that I've done. And I'm just 
going to take a little bit of Sweet Kiss with a slightly larger brush and I'm just going to dust it on the very sort of top of the cheekbone. And I'm going to use a little bit of butterscotch with a duo fibre type brush. Just a little bit here. And also a little bit here. And she has got colour in her cheeks on this one. She's very, very pale. But whoever the makeup artist was has uh, done a really good job to sort of make it not look like she's dead. But she is very, very pale. I love how pale she is. I think she's beautiful. So I'm just really sort of working that blusher almost into a slight contour. Because there's no brown on her face whatsoever. And this is the colour that I'm using. This is Butterscotch, it's my favourite one. I actually use a little bit of this on the eyes in a sec because she has got a little bit of shading. So I've used a bit of the blusher here, here, and a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my chin, just to carry it around. So I'm going to take a little bit of Butterscotch with a kind of multiple use brush and just skim it under the lashes. It's a very kind of raw look this, it's really, it's stunning, I love it. I'm just going to take a little bit over the brow, eyebrow, under the, sorry, I'm just taking a little bit in the crease. Okay, so I'm going to start working on the other eye. To get the mascara like this shot, you've really got to build it, I've got a few coats because they're thick and spidery, but yet really long and lengthened. So the last thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of Vaseline on the back of my hand, there it is, and I'm going to apply it with my ring finger really, really, really carefully to the lash, sorry, to the lid there, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, just sort of below where I did the crease uh, of the blush. I'm also just going to put a little bit over that highlighter that I did before to make it look a bit more wet. That is my interpretation of Rooney Mara on the red carpet. I will upload a picture to the blog and you can check it out yourselves. Um, please let me know what you think. I really like this look. I would absolutely wear this. Um, I think it's very fashionable, very London, um, very on trend, very Hollywood. Um, so yeah, give us a shout. Let us know what you think. If you've got any recommendations of other looks that you want me to do through this series of, uh, of looks, then absolutely recommend some and um, maybe I'll do it for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.